But we got the microscope in the early part of the last summer, and then the rest of the equipment came in September, and then they've been putting it together in a couple of visits. The general concept of the microscope is that we have a specimen mm -hmm. on a stage, and that can get illuminated from either side of the slide, right. and then the light that we want to view gets sent through uh, by using mirrors and optics up through the eyepieces. Sure. We can actually control the light as it hits the sample so that we can take an optical slice mm -hmm. without slicing physically the sample. Right. In the Zeiss model, that's continuously variable. So we can, you know, set oh, it. Oh, so you can... Like 0.1 micron differences. This allows us to get into the imaging at a level um, that, you know, we'll have to work pretty hard among the faculty to uh, exceed the capacities of this instrument. So that box on the left is shown here in a cutaway view, and we have on the floor there what looks like a computer mm -hmm. is actually a bank of lasers. So there are four lasers that come in to work with data mm -hmm. like this, mm -hmm. where when you want to see what, what the data is showing you, when you want to have a um, lot of large square footage on your screen, um, high computing power, and this is the visualization part, and how you acquire images of biological processes. Mm -hmm in real time and in, in three dimensions, sure. and both. How will our students in, in research right. with faculty be engaged with this? Yeah, so the last summer with the microscope components here, um, we had two students working on it already, a student um, Jeff Rosso with uh, Dr. Lammer, and, um, and then uh, Kimberly Sukum uh, worked with Carla Mars, and they presented their work this fall at the Mid-States um, Consortium for Science and Mathematics meeting. That is incredible. Isn't it? Yeah. Cutting edge technology. It is. Giving you a chance to take your research to some new fronts yeah. and 